Hi, welcome to my training video to install VMware Fusion on the MacBook Pro. If you're using Windows, you can follow along. Just download the Windows version. It's it's called VMware Workstation Pro. You can also use Player. Uh, I prefer to use Fusion on the MacBook Pro, and I will show you how to install VMware as, as well as with this series of videos starting today. So the first part you want to do is go to VMware.com click downloads it's right here so when you go to products you see downloads fusion and download fusion now this is this will take you through a trial version I recommend buying it purchasing it uh, the reason why I choose VMware fusion over the other products is because VMware has a, a solid support model uh, VMware also supports virtualization inside of virtualization which means you could set up VMware and then run hypervisor inside of that any type of hypervisor inside of it where the other products haven't quite caught up to that yet they may have a, as of this version or uh, this time but at this moment I prefer to use fusion just because it has some functionality I will show you throughout the videos so the first thing I'm going to do is download VMware fusion and while it downloads once it's finished downloading you just double click on it it will open up into a little folder you open up the folder and you can install so we will watch this download so while we're at it we will go to the products and take a look at VMware Fusion is, is about so on the MacBook you can use virtualizations you can virtualize another Mac or another Windows version rather than doing dual booting um, virtualization is the way the way you do things nowadays uh, your computer is very powerful so you can run multiple versions of OS's rather than dual booting you can quickly go left right screen back and forth I will show you that in a second um, you can virtualize any OS operating system to test things so let's say you want to download a program you're not quite sure if it's any good you can load it up into a VM which is a virtual machine you can use some of your resources to use toward that to test things so this way if it doesn't work out the way you want you can just close the VM and delete it you don't have to worry about getting anything on your system uh, cleaning up anything or anything messing up your current configuration on the MacBook itself so when you go this is our MacBook and then you just go to the to the virtual soft virtualization software so it's just about downloaded it takes a couple minutes depending on your speed of your internet I'm currently uh, running a few other processes uh, but this is just on my MacBook itself so this first video is just an intro to show you how to use VMware Fusion uh, or VMware Workstation depending on which way you prefer to do it. I can make another video showing Workstation Pro it's pretty much the same thing download the trial you could purchase it uh, you could use Windows or Linux in this case uh, purchasing it, it is it's a little bit of money well worth it uh, there's other ways uh, you can get I think in some cases they have some promotions sometimes you can get it for free um, so just keep your eye out on that. Uh, try, try the trial version, especially if you're just doing some things for school or anything testing. Fire it up in a trial version, use it, see how well you like it, and make your decision at that point. And then you can use one of the other competitor products if you prefer. Uh, as I mentioned, I prefer to use the VMware product because I'm familiar with the suite and I'm also certified VMware. Uh, not that I'm pushing their product because I'm their salesman, I'm not. It's just I prefer to use it because it's easier. And the functionality you will see in a second so you double click on the image it will open up the DMG which in Windows is known as an ISO file so it's an image so let's get rid of the browser so there's your VMware Fusion so I'm going to double tap and this will install it onto my system and there. so and it's going to ask for your password that's my name and now it's installing now I already have it installed so it will just, it will just install over top of my current system and I will close and the right click you just use your control key eject and that just closes out that download you just ran and once it's finished it will disappear there you go 
So you can go to app to Finder. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the Mac. <laughs> I'm a Windows convert, and VMware Fusion's down there. And if you want, you can drag it out and drop it onto the toolbar as as I have, or the taskbar. Sorry. So I'm going to go back to the main menu here. So go to New. Sorry. Back here. So I'm going to open up VMware Fusion. And VMware Fusion itself if you have a VM it comes up to the VM menus I'm just going to go back to the main screen so VMware Fusion so now we have here the list of things we can go to the window uh, virtual machine library this is how it first fires up normally um, let's get rid of some of these clean things up so in this one here shows me I have a Windows 10 so this is a Windows 10 that I've set up to play with so if I want to run Windows 10 I could then start it up and it will then start loading up Windows 10 as if it's its own PC now the wondrous thing about the Mac is one thing I really enjoy about it is the, the scrolling uh, I'm using the touchpad right now uh, Windows is loading now sometimes you may not want in a windowed environment so we're just gonna go here and I'm logging in so now I have Windows 10 and you gotta hold down your control command keys to get your cursor back and move it around so I got Windows 10 on a Mac and people say well, why would you want Windows on a Mac well it's, again it's for testing so there's my Windows 8 and now what I'm going to do is I want to go full screen because now it's Windows 10 full screen now if I want to go back to Mac you just get your three fingers and slide left to right and you bring it back to the Mac and minimize that there's my Mac so I get three fingers and slide it left again and there's my Windows 10 so I can go between my windows I could do Windows 10 work and Mac work within and this allows me to have a full functioning Windows I can install software I can run anything just like Windows 10 you can give it you can give it different different uh, hardware so if you want to uh, type right, Cortana I'm not sure how that works whether it will work pretty good in a VM or not I don't really use it so in this case I'm going to just type control and I'm going to control panel I just want to show you that it will have Windows hardware so I'm running an Intel Core 7 Windows 10 Pro again this is just a test it's a uh, it's, it's a test unit I delete this uh, every couple of days when I just testing I'm just showing everybody how to use it I have a Windows 10 Pro set up I just haven't named it yet you can name it you can go through all the Windows settings if you need to um, there's drivers so it has a you know, there's my processor I only allocated one processor to it uh, memory as well you can go to disk drives I have one disk hooked up to it this tells me it's one computer um, so there's lots of things there's you know it's Bluetooth devices you can plug USB keys in so you just raise your mouse to the mouse to the top and click you get the menu here so you can add USBs you can change sound if you want to change memory you just click this wrench and you can go here and add memory so let's say I want to add more CPUs now of course it's locked right now because um, I'm I'm running the VM so what I need to do is actually shut down the VM so I can add more memory so right now I have two gigs of RAM and one processor so I'm just going to power off the VM shut down and drag it back so I can go to my mouse as you see it's still shutting down and I'm gonna go back to here click this it'll bring me back there so let's wait till it finishes and let's see so let's go here view a single window so let's bring this down to a window again now let's go to the wrench so if I want to add more memory 
I can double it up. I, I have up to 16 gigs of RAM in my machine, so I can go up to 4 gigs if I prefer. Now, recommend is what VMware recommends with what system I have running, because 2, meg, two megs of RAM, or 2 gigs of RAM, sorry, is good enough for a VM if you're not doing any heavy work. But if you need to put 8 gigs of RAM or half your resources, you can. I run multiples, uh, servers and workstations, anything I need to test things with so I can learn. Uh, I'm always learning. I work in the IT field. Uh, you can add more processor cores. Uh, this 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 particular model of Mac is a is an i7 quad core, which is eight process threads. So I can add up to eight processors technically to that VM. And once you make the save settings, you can change it. Um, if you want to add another disk because you want to store more files, you can just add a device. You can add a CD-ROM, a disk, you can add a parallel port, a serial port, a floppy disk if you happen to have one. You can add a camera. Uh, that passes your hardware from your camera through, so if you want to use Skype for Windows or so forth, you can. Um, so that just closes down the bar. So this is pretty much all I wanted to show you was VMware Fusion, this part here. Uh, Windows 10 was just a simple one just to show you. Um, and now we can go back and bring up the library so there's how many I have so if I want to add another version of Windows I would say new and let's say I want to add um, okay well let's click here I don't want to add any specific one I just want to install from a disk so continue and instead of if you have a CD you can put it in the CD or DVD drive and go from there or if you have what uh, image files I have them in this training video thing so my ISO so let's say I want to install Linux Linux desktop so I say open and now it will use that to boot up and I'm not going to do easy install I want to go through the whole settings you, know, you can customize it. it comes with 1 gig of RAM 20 gig hard drive but that's perfect to play with so you can customize but click on customize and change things if you want um, so we will say finish save and there's the VM now, once you click play, it boots up. You see it's a physical computer booting up, and it will then start booting off the DVD, the, the image disk, the ISO file, and give it a second or so. It's reading this across my network, so it takes a little few seconds for it to fire up, and there it goes. So during the install process, it will now start installing Ubuntu uh, Linux. Um, so I don't really want to install this right now. So you hit Control Command, it brings your mouse pointer back. You say pause, so you can pause this and go back to it later if you want. As you see, it's paused. Uh, in this case, I will probably just turn it off and delete it because I don't want it. Move it to trash, and there you go. The VM's gone, but the Windows 10 is still there. So that's it for VMware Fusion. It's a very easy product product to use once you understand what it's for. Um, I will also go into a few more things. Maybe another item I can mention to you is a thing called snapshotting. So if you have Windows 10 and you're trying something, you're running your Windows VM and you want to make a snapshot in time. So right now the way you have it is working and you want to make a change but would you want to be able to go back before that change. So you could run a snapshot. It will take a snapshot of the current configuration you have and if you install a piece of software that blows it up or ruins it or I mean, it causes crashing, you can then go to the snapshot and revert to previous snapshots. So it takes Windows back before that time in place. Uh, this is generally used in, in production environments to, to test patches. So when Microsoft sends down patches or let's say you have an update of a product and you want to update it and you don't want to lose your Windows. You want you don't want to have to reinstall everything if, you, if it blows up. So you take a snapshot, you make your install. After the install, if you're okay to go ahead, you can remove the snapshot or merge everything together. Um, and I'll talk about the merging uh, in a second with this. Um, or you can go back if something breaks. Now what I mean by merging is is when a snapshot is created, uh, a point in time your VM is set in that point in time. What happens from that point forward is a delta file is built from that point forward of all the changes you make. And if those changes are minimal, the delta file is small. If the changes are a long time in between the next snapshot, let's say you leave it for a week, the delta could grow as the changes are made. And then what happens at the end of when you, you want to get rid of that snapshot or you want to merge it together, you could, you could tell the snapshot tool to merge your snapshots together. So if you have more than one, you could then go back, you can remove them, you can 
Um, so for instance right now if I take a snapshot I'll say test. So I'm taking a test snapshot as you see here's the original estate and this is the add-on so this is the delta. So at this point here I could restore and go back to here or I could delete this one. So every time you make a different snapshot it adds on another layer. So now you have multiple layers to come back to. It's not recommended to keep running multiple snapshots before for long you have a ton of snapshots and you could get corruption and lose all the data back to the very first day. So if you ran it like a year or two years then you would you could possibly lose all those changes if those snapshots ever become corrupt. They don't usually come become corrupt. I have run into cases where a VM was snapshotted four years and uh, the VM had trouble starting up and ended up falling back to its original state and we lost data um, and thank God, thankfully we had some tape backups to go back to but uh, in those cases you're safe but in this case you just want to delete snapshot you can delete each snapshot and go back to the original case and this is where it's for testing that's what the whole idea of, of virtualization is about is is to allow you to use multiple machines in one so that's the pie in the sky of VMware Fusion for anybody using Mac. The Workstation Pro works almost the exact same way. Um, the screens are just different, that's it. It functions pretty much the same fashion. Uh, so I will create some VMs coming up in my next series of videos on how to install Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8, 1, Windows 10, and the server-based products as well, just to get the installation down. And I'm also going to show how to install the Mac OS. So just in case you ever want to create a VM or if you're reinstalling your Mac because you want to do a fresh install to clean up that MacBook or the old Mac desktop. Uh, so I will carry on some more videos. This is a series of videos I'd like to create. Um, see you next time. Thank you very much.